Hello, Paul is the best for you, UK here, and this is a video about this system I recently acquired. This is one of them very old netbooks released about 2008, I would say. This one's running a Celeron 900. It's actually clocked at 650, but they uh, dumb it down on purpose. This is an EEPC 701. A lot of people consider these systems as hopelessly useless because they are so slow and also the atom range they are so slow as well so let's have a look what we can do with it in this video so here it is booting up i've actually upgraded this to two gigabytes of ram it, it came with 512 megabytes so here is the bios so i just thought i'd show you the uh, limited bios system as it's not nothing pretty and it's quite locked down actually so yeah there's a bios so if you want to make one of these into something useful then this video might be for you okay so here is the Alexandros factory default linux installation these would ship with some of these some of the later models would ship with windows xp but this is the icon driven sort of ipad style like uh, it's not that bad actually, it's quite good, it's got open office, it's got massive icons. I, don't, I would have thought in 2008 I would have loved this actually. So you can see you've got a spreadsheet, all this comes out of the factory, out of the box. So You've also got included uh, educational programs and even paint packages, like such as this more advanced paint package or even the uh, well-known Tux paint. Frozen Bubble 2 also came on these netbooks. Do you remember that from Linux? So this definitely reminds me of Beehive Bedlam on Sky HD or Sky Plus. Potato guy is also on here. So here is Puppy Linux Pup32. This is quite a very, actually this is version Bionic Pup32 8.0 and it works pretty well on this. I haven't tried it online yet because I had a few problems with uh, trying to 
uh, negotiate with my Wi-Fi. But yeah, it seems to work. Otherwise, it's look really usable. Here is a word processor. What about Windows Legacy Edition? Legacy, sorry, Windows Fundamentals Legacy. I've never heard of that until today. Someone suggested it in the uh, Retro Machines Facebook group, and yeah, let's try that. very basic primitive XP version but it works just fine to be honest with you XP home works just fine as well so this is more restricted than XP home But let's get right to business this is a main event this is the main reason why i probably purchased this as a EEE 701 pc the other day and it's uh battle linux so let's have a look i probably haven't pronounced that right
ZX Spectrum? I think so. Fantastic World Dizzy Dizzy 3 working beautifully. bit of Sega Mega Drive Genesis this is Sonic the Hedgehog 2 this also runs flawlessly as you can see The original Streets of Rage 1 running absolutely fantastic on this little system. If it's going to do Mega Drive, it's also going to do original Nintendo NES. This is Super Mario Bros. 3, flawlessly working. Now one thing I have noticed sadly, I don't know if anyone can point me in the right direction of how to fix this, but Super Nintendo games have got stuttery sound, as you can hear on this clip. I'll shut up a minute. The gameplay seems to run fine, it's just the sound that seems to be stuttery. I've tried every setting I can think of, so let me know in the comments. So, should you keep your EEE 701? Maybe. Can it run Doom? Of course it can. The processor is 900 megahertz and it's stepped down to 650 megahertz. You can run Doom on a 66 megahertz 486. So yeah, of course it can run Doom. No, it can't run crisis. Thank you for watching this unique video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!